What's up everybody, this is Corey from My Two Cents, and today we're going to be bringing you a automotive video. We're going to go ahead and use this Dawn, a bucket of water, and it's microfiber cloth and some lacquer thinner to remove some pinstripes painted on a vehicle. To do this, we're going to go ahead and clean the area we're going to be removing the pinstripes off of, that way we're not rubbing any dirt debris into the clear coat and scratching it. And then we're just going to dip our rag in the lacquer thinner and just start going down the pinstripe. Now this does remove pretty quickly. Uh, it doesn't take very long. It doesn't take a lot of pressure. I'm not pushing extremely hard. Now I did some research on this and lacquer thinner should not hurt a catalyzed clear coat. Most newer cars do have a catalyzed clear coat. Now if you're worried about this harming your vehicle, I would try it on the interior portion of the door uh, maybe a few weeks before you actually take the project on just to see how it reacts. If you're rubbing your cloth on it and you start seeing paint come off on your cloth and that would definitely be a problem. Uh, in this situation where we're going to remove the pinstripes so your cloth is definitely going to be showing some paint uh, so you won't be able to see it uh, combined to what the other color of your paint is but definitely no ill effects on my vehicle. So we're just going to work our way down. On occasion I'll soap the truck back up and just remove kind of that uh, little residue of the paint that's there. Now if that does dry and you notice it after the fact, you can use maybe the rough side of a sponge to help pull that off or you could just use a little bit more lacquer thinner uh, and some water to remove it. You can see that it's coming off nice and easy. So now that we've gotten a pretty decent section, we'll go ahead and wipe that off. I'm a little concerned about it hitting the plastic on the Nerf bars, uh, so I'm rubbing a little bit low. I don't want any uh, melting to happen there. Uh, so be careful of your plastic. I don't know what the effects would be uh, in that situation. Let's we'll flip our rag over and keep going. We're almost done with this door, and it's been pretty quick. Only a couple minutes in, and we've already got almost a full door done. So I think all in all, it took me probably about, I'm taking my time, uh, two hours to remove the pinstripes off of this vehicle. Uh, so that was nice and quick. So let's take our time and clear this off. You'll notice that when it's thicker, it definitely does take a little bit more time. And normally that's at the, the beginning and the end of the stripe. You'll see that it's nice and thick. I'll go ahead and soap up the entire door and just try to get any of the residual paint off of it. And then we'll take a hose and just spray off the soap and any residual lacquer thinner or paint from the pinstripe off of it. Now there's a little bit of ghosting and you'll see that the water kind of bubbles up where the pinstrap used to be, uh, but no ill effects at all after this either. I'm just going to give you a close up and show you how fast this comes off. Now uh, this is not sped up in any way, uh, there was no prep work done to this, this is just straight removing the paint strip off of the vehicle. Go ahead and just soap it. And here's a, a shot of a larger portion of it. Once you kind of get it started, uh, the rest of the stripe comes off a little bit easier once you get uh, working on it a little bit. Nice and easy. Let's go ahead and spray it down. You can see how much better that looks without that pinstripe being on there. Now the next section I did speed up uh, three times. This will just be on the rear portion of the truck and give you an idea of how long it takes to do one full shot here. Now it was a little bit warm uh, this day but it wasn't super hot and it was not super cold so that may change the way in which the stripe uh, gets removed. Just take your time, work it, make sure you get all of the paint off and the initial, because you don't have to go back and redo all of this. Now my truck's a 2015, uh, so he's pro probably been on here for at least a year and a half. A little or no ghosting underneath as well. Now what I'll also be doing is a follow-up video on this, and that's one thing that I think a lot of people would want to see. Uh, six months from now, I'll post a follow-up video on uh, how this actually looks, were there any real ill effects to it, or... Uh, did everything just work out fine for me? Now, I've seen one other video on YouTube of a guy using this particular method uh, on a newer car also. Uh, so, I'm not too concerned, uh, but I would suggest testing it also. 
And I've thought about doing the oven cleaner method, but it seemed like that might be more abrasive uh, as you have to kind of let it sit. Uh, more abrasive on your hands also, uh, necessarily just the truck. Now one thing happens also once your rag gets wet, it becomes less and less effective. Uh, so you may want to use two rags to do a vehicle. Uh, the first half uh, was pretty easy, but as we got going and the rag got wet, it uh, did become more effective. It probably had to spend about twice as much time uh, removing the stripe. Now I'm sure there's going to be a lot of negative comments on you shouldn't use lacquer thinner on your vehicle and you should just go ahead and use a sanding wheel and remove it and then repolish it and then re-clear it. I know I just didn't really have time for that, didn't want to do it, nor do I have the money to, to have somebody else do it for me, so I thought I'd give it a shot and it actually turned out quite well. I'm sure there will be a few more comments saying in five years this is where it's going to be yellowed and you know I'll probably end up, if that does happen, plastic dipping or repainting it. Uh, so not a big there, deal there either. Anyways, if you found it helpful, you liked it, hit the thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace.